The moon is, on average, 375,643 kilometres away. To get there, you need a ship capable of escaping the Earth's gravity and some astronauts made of the right stuff. 3,150 men and women applied to be astronauts for the American space program, but selection was strict, both physically and mentally. The successful Apollo candidates were, on average, just under 1.8 metres tall, weighed 72.6 kilograms and were just under 39 on their first flight. Plus, they were clever, with an average IQ of 141. Three of the 32 serving astronauts were selected for the first trip to the moon. Amongst their luggage were medical supplies, survival gear and food supplies, including three sausage patties, 12 strawberry cubes and six prawn cocktails. This is the 60s, remember. But the biggest problem isn't the dodgy cuisine. It's escaping Earth's gravity. And for a big problem, you need a big rocket. The Saturn V was a monster. It consisted of three stages. First, five F-1 engines launched the astronauts. The most powerful of their time, together they produced 160 million horsepower. They burned for 165 seconds and carried the craft 68 kilometers. A modern family car will average about 65 miles per gallon. Five F-1s do about 13 centimeters. The second stage takes the spacecraft a further 106 kilometers. And the third stage takes the craft into orbit and on its way to the moon. Guided by a computer with less power than your average wristwatch. The astronauts spent eight days, four hours and 35 seconds together in a metal cam. Just two hours and 32 minutes of which was actually on the moon. They splashed down in the Pacific Ocean considerably lighter than when they set off. They arrived to a hero's welcome and three weeks in quarantine. 